What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Federico and today I'm gonna show you the new Cream drum library by the fine folks at Bogren Digital. So I'm really excited about this library. I think it's one of the best sounding ones I've come across lately. As you can see, it's a contact drum library and yes, it does work with a free contact player. Um, the library was produced and mixed by Jens Bogren. Jens needs no introduction. He's a legendary metal producer and he has worked on some of the best sounding metal records in the last few years. And of course, this is the signature drum library for uh, the drummer Krim. Uh, very talented young drummer, he's been playing with Decapitated, Septic Flesh and uh, many more. So I think you can see why I'm excited about this uh, release. But before I start to talk about the drum kit, let me remind you that you can get a 10% discount off of not only this, but all uh, Bogren Digital releases, including the IRs, the plugins, the drum samples, and so on, by following the affiliate link in this video description and by putting the code ASCARI during checkout, and that's gonna give you a 10% discount. So let's get right into it. Um, just by looking at the interface, you can see there's a huge shells and cymbal selection. Let's start with the shells. There's a double kick drum, and you can select three different options, old head, felt beater, plastic beater, and I'm gonna demonstrate them to you in just a second. You have two different uh, snare options, and you have two toms and three floor toms. One is panned on the left and two are panned to the right. Uh, for each tom and floor tom, you have the clear head and coded head options, which is always nice. And regarding cymbals, you have four crash cymbals, two on the left and two on the right, two chinas, one on the left and one on the right, two hats, one on the left and one on the right again, the ride and two splash cymbals. So let's take a look at the rest of the interface. Here on the top left, you have the kit view, next the mixer, which I'm gonna come back to in just a minute, the grooves, and this page contains all the uh, MIDI packs. This library already comes with the Cream MIDI pack, which is very useful for writing. Then we have Anti Machine Gun and Auto Double Kick, which are two very interesting uh, humanization algorithms, which I'm gonna demonstrate in a minute and then the mapping preset page. So as you can see, there's a lot of different articulations for all symbols, which is really cool. And here you have all the uh, mapping presets for the biggest um, drum libraries. Here to the right, you have the velocity uh, curves page where you can fix the velocity curve for each individual kit piece. And that's pretty much it. So it's really easy to navigate. Um, let's go back to the mixer page because there's a lot to unpack here. So there's different uh, faders for kick, kick sub, um, kick trigger, which is muted by default, snare top, snare bottom, uh, snare trigger, which again is muted, all individual toms, um, both heads, the one to the left and one to the right, the right symbol, overheads, rooms, and the master bus. Now here's where things start to get interesting because each of these channels has different options that allow you to shape the sound in different ways. So let's start with the master bus. As you can see, there's a parallel compression, master EQ and master tape modules. You can bypass uh, each of them, of course. Um, with the parallel compression, you can blend uh, the uncompressed and compressed signal. Master EQ and master tape allow you to shape the overall tone on the master bus. Here on the left, you have two different uh, reverbs, a short and a long one, and you can send signal to them from each individual um, channel in the mixer. Next, let's check out the individual channels. There's a lot of very useful features here. Uh, let's start on the left where we have three slots where we can load um, different modules for processing. There's an EQ, SSL style, a compressor, 1176 style, transient designer, and a saturation and all of the um, slots allow you to load the same modules. Down here we have the level for the main kick and the second kick, in case you want to make them slightly different. Uh, we have the sense for both the short and long reverb, we have a pitch knob that allows you to retune the uh, individual kit piece in case you want to make it uh, slightly higher in pitch or lower. We have an envelope um, control, which you can turn on and off, and the bleed control, which controls the amount of level that um, this individual uh, kit piece is um, bleeding into the overheads and the rooms. 
Now, the other channels, with the exception of the trigger channels, uh, look pretty much the same except for some slight variations in the features. For example, the kick is the only one that has these individual um, kick levels, of course. The snare looks pretty much the same except for that features. Um, toms do as well, but they have this link toms button in the bleed control section, which links the um, overhead and room bleed amongst all the toms, which is very handy. The heads and the uh, cymbals don't have the uh, pitch knob, which makes sense. The overhead has all the individual um, levels for all crash cymbals, chinas and splash cymbals as well. And it only has the uh, bleed control for the room, of course, because the uh, overhead is not bleeding onto itself. The room doesn't have the bleed control as well as the envelope. The trigger tracks instead are a bit different. Like I said, they are muted by default, so you should unmute them and bring up the level. And they feature this um, double sample loader. The one on the left has three presets. Um, these are samples contained in the Bogren Digital um, drum sample pack. They sound really cool. And the one on the right instead is for your custom uh, one shots. So you can just drag and drop them from a folder into this area. And uh, uh, they have um, similar controls. You can control the level uh, for both of them. You can control the pitch and the send to the uh, short and long reverb. The only difference is this polarity button. So you can make sure your um, one shot is correctly in phase uh, with all the other samples. So we're back on the main page. Let's take a listen at what this library actually sounds like. This is just the um, preset that the library gets loaded up with. There's 12 additional ones, and I'm gonna let you listen to a couple of them right after this. Uh, but yeah, so this is just uh, basically what you hear when you load up the um, library. There's no further processing. There's just a limiter to make sure I'm not clipping. Uh, but that's it. So yeah, I programmed this part, uh, making sure different sections were played in different symbols so you can really hear um, all the different possibilities that this kit gives you. So let's go. Awesome. So I think it already sounds great. It's very organic, very natural sounding, not overly processed, but still punchy. And I especially like the symbols. I think uh, the Hayat especially is, um, yeah, as far as I can remember, is the best sampled Hayat I've heard in a library. There's just a, a very good range of openings and all articulations just sound great. Here's a few more presets that I think sound cool. Now let's check out the humanization algorithms. These are really cool, really useful. Um, they make your performance more dynamic, more human. So it's definitely a plus with these kind of uh, libraries. The O2 double kick one, when it's off, like you can imagine, it's forcing uh, the main kick drum only to play. So it sounds like this. When it's on, 
you might think uh, the two kick drums are always alternating, but it's not like that because when um, hits are played slowly, a uh, drummer will just play um, the right one with the right foot. However, when they're faster, he's gonna start uh, using double kicks. So this is exactly how it works. You can see that in the slower part, only the right one is playing. When it gets faster, both are alternating. Next, the anti-machine gun option uh, adds even more realism and variation between the hits. Next, I'm gonna let you listen to how the shells react to different velocity levels. Let's start with the kick. Uh, old head. Felt beater. And lastly, plastic beater. Next is the snare. Option one is Kenny Beauty. Option 2, Ultra Class. Now let's move on to Tom's. This is the full set with clear heads. And this is the full set with coded heads. And lastly, like I said, I'm really impressed by this hi-hat. Um, this is a really simple part showcasing all the different openings. So once again, let's take a listen to the full kit. This is exactly what you're getting when you load up the library with no additional processing. I want to know what you guys think about this library so please let me know in the comments down below like i said i think it sounds really organic and natural it packs a great punch but it's not overly processed and i especially like the symbol selection and the sampling and the shells sound great as well of course don't forget you can get a 10 percent discount if you use my affiliate link which you can find in the description and the checkout code ascari like i said that's gonna give you a 10 percent discount um, and yeah, that's it for today. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm gonna see you next time. Cheers.